today's video, I am teaming up with Aldi and I'm gonna bring you guys a very affordable but delicious Valentine's Day dinner. to style mom XO. okay so i don't know about you guys but i don't really care to go to restaurants on valentine's day me and my husband have always celebrated in the house we like to celebrate with the kids i mean by the time you actually find a restaurant that actually has reservations open then the restaurants are so completely packed you can't even enjoy yourself i don't know i prefer just to go ahead and stay home so i'm going to show you guys everything i got for this valentine's day dinner on a budget that's right i got all the dinner plus dessert and my favorite wine all for $40.50. Okay, so for dinner today, I'm gonna be putting on the table bacon wrapped steaks. So I got these uh, yummy steaks right here. This is by the brand Cattle Men's Ranch. Um, really good, super affordable steaks. This was $4.99, so I ended up getting two packs because for me and my husband and then our kids. So for on the menu today, I'm gonna be doing bacon wrapped steaks, some sauteed mushrooms, I'm gonna do some broccoli for the kids with a white sauce, and then me and my husband are gonna end up eating some Brussels sprouts with balsamic vinaigrette on it. Um, I'm gonna be doing some uh, twice baked potatoes. Those are super delicious and so easy, but yet they look fancy, along with a balsamic uh, reduction sauce to go ahead and put on the steak. Doesn't that sound so delicious? And then of course, me and my husband being Mexican, we absolutely love flan. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one of our favorite desserts tonight, which is some flan. I actually made it on my channel a couple of weeks ago. So we're gonna go ahead and put some flan together for dessert so it is a full steak dinner plus dessert and my favorite bottle of wine this winking owl let me tell you guys if you love sweet drinks um, and you haven't found that perfect wine go ahead and try the Moscato California Moscato by winking owl and it is so affordable it fits in any budget it is under three dollars under three dollars for a full bottle of wine let's go ahead and show you guys the products and we're going to get jumping right on in to getting the flan in the oven and then getting the steaks on the stove top so i want to show you guys a close-up of this winking owl um, they have so many different flavors of wine that you can go ahead and choose from but this one is my favorite under three dollars i believe it was two dollars and 58 cents so definitely go ahead and check out aldi for any wine selection and i do have to tell you guys they even have my favorite butter of all time this butter is so delicious and i just love it i ended up getting the evaporated milk and condensed milk to go ahead and make the flan and this is by baker's corner i picked up with some Berman's steak sauce and just in case my daughter or my son want the steak sauce instead of the balsamic reduction sauce which brings me to the balsamic vinegar that I just picked up right here I got some milk from friendly farms um, for the white sauce for the broccoli um, same brand some sour cream for the twice baked potatoes I picked up some broccoli and some Brussels sprouts both by Queen Victoria by Happy Farms got some Kobe Jack um, for the twice baked potatoes got some mushrooms that we're gonna go ahead and cut up once again i got two things of the steaks super super affordable and this big bag of potatoes um, that's gonna last us for a very long time this is actually a 10 pound bag of potatoes i needed some more seasoning salt and then some more mayonnaise and I also got some steak seasoning. So we're gonna get started on the flan. I actually have some sugar that I already had on standby and so I'm gonna grab that, a couple eggs and we're gonna get going on this. Okay, so this flan recipe I will have linked down below for you guys. Um, it's the only flan recipe that I have ever used. It's just super simple and really tasty. 
But you can get all the products that you need at any Aldi supermarket store. They really do offer some of the best quality food for the lowest price. Just a couple weeks ago, I actually bought a three pound bag of cutie oranges for $1.99 and they were the, some of the sweetest oranges I have ate in such a long time. So Aldi actually has exclusive brands. I don't know if you guys know this, but that you can only buy there at Aldi. So you can save up to 50% any day of the year. And that's really good compared to some of the leading competitors out there. No coupons, no hassle. You just enjoy the low prices. So right now I'm just popping in the potatoes into the microwave because I'm going to cook them as if I'm doing a regular baked potatoes. So now I'm going to hop over and get the breast sprouts ready I'm just gonna cut off the ends um, peel, cut them in half and then peel off the outside couple leaves and then put them in the strainer one thing about all the supermarket products is their exclusive brands actually have no artificial colors no MSG no added trans fats which is actually really really good and they actually work with local farmers and local growers to ensure that the products are going straight from the field to the store as fast as possible just like these Brussels sprouts so I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil um, the balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, swoosh it around and then we're going to pop it in the oven for 350 until they are completely cooked through. So what I'm going to do is put down in the description box an Aldi store locator so you can see if there is an Aldi near you guys. We are very, very blessed to have two Aldi um, supermarket locations here in the Coachella Valley, the Palm Springs area. So this is a great way where you can enjoy the really low prices without having a club membership or having to clip the coupons. <laughs> I miss you. So now it is steak time. The key to perfect steaks is butter and a really good seasoning. Butter is the key because you want to keep always putting a little bit of butter so it can keep coating that sweetness that butter naturally has. Um, and then, like I said, the good seasoning. You want to get one that has a really good mix, just like this one that I picked up over at Aldi. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on three of the steaks. Nevea is not a very big pepper fan. So I'm just going to put a little bit of seasoning salt on hers. She also didn't want the bacon. She wanted to eat the bacon, just not on the steak. So I did go ahead and take it off. I'm going to cook it separately, but she absolutely loves like that smoky flavor that bacon goes ahead and gives the steak. So she just prefers to eat it separate. So throughout the steak cooking process, I keep adding a little bit of a butter um, just to make sure that they are nice and caramelized. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the mushrooms. The mushrooms, I just put a little bit of butter in the pan with some seasoning salt and just let it kind of caramelized from there. I did add a little bit of butter towards the end just to make sure that they get nice and that golden brown. So now we are on to the twice baked potatoes. So twice baked potatoes look super fancy. They're really yummy and really, really easy. So what I'm gonna do is cut off the top just so I can go ahead and get out to the center. So you wanna go ahead and take your spoon and kind of go around the baked potato and scoop it out. So you don't wanna break through the skin. You want to go ahead and leave just a little bit of the potato in there as like a liner. Um, and then we're gonna take the rest of it out, put it inside a, I'm using a measuring cup, but you can put it in a bowl or anything like that and then we're gonna put all of our fillings whatever you want you can customize this any way that you want I always like to put in some butter sour cream seasoning salt and cheese and then we're gonna end up mixing it up stuffing it back in we're actually gonna overstuff them and then top them with cheese and put them in the oven until all the cheese and the butter and everything is melted nice and golden on top they look so good so definitely go ahead and leave in the comments below i am interested are you going to be celebrating valentine's day with your girlfriends with your significant other with your kids and if so do you have reservations to go out or are you cooking something at home and if so what are you cooking or where are you going i definitely want to go ahead and read those in the comments
So do you guys see how these mushrooms have like that nice golden color to them? And that's just by putting in a little bit of butter at the end. So then they get that nice kind of caramelized look. And then look at these steaks. They still have a little bit of cooking to do. As you guys can see the redness, it just looks so good. So the balsamic reduction sauce for the steaks is super simple. You just need some butter and the balsamic vinegar, and then you're gonna let it reduce down to a glaze. <laughs> And look at these twice baked potatoes. I mean, come on. That next to a steak with some vegetables, I mean, this is perfect for any Valentine's Day, any celebration. You guys, twice baked potatoes will be a hit and like I said, super simple. So you want to keep mixing the reduction sauce until it becomes like a really nice, thick, thick glaze. Um, and you're going to want to serve it kind of immediately as soon as you're done. So you want to make sure that you do this right at the end. So this white sauce I actually learned from my mom, you're just going to need some salt, a little bit of milk and mayonnaise and you just kind of stir it together and it becomes like this thick sauce you can go ahead and put some pepper in it as well but Neve is not a fan of pepper and it just becomes this really good white sauce to put on broccoli and that's actually how I got my kids to eat their broccoli when they were younger by making this white sauce and just kind of drizzling it on top and it is so good and look at this final product I mean does this not look amazing the Brussels sprouts the broccoli the mushrooms the steak with the reduction sauce and the twice baked potatoes yum gonna go ahead my husband's serving me a glass of wine and dinner is served for this inspiration of a valentine's day dinner Alrighty, you guys so that is it and this is the final product i'm gonna sit down and enjoy a nice glass of wine i got my winking owl here i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy dinner with my family so remember you guys don't always have to go out for valentine's day this cost for the family of four steak dinner all this plus dessert wine $40.50 for everything. Definitely go ahead and check out all the, I'll have the link down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye you guys.